Rush Hour for Tuesday, February 20th. I'm David Kaplan. It's brought to you by your Chicagoland Chevy dealers. Drive what Bears quarterback Justin Fields drives at Greater Midwest Exteriors. Quality and craftsmanship you can trust. Find them at gmechicago.com. All right, let's start with Justin Fields because it seems to be all anyone in Chicago or around the National Football League and all the national shows want to talk about. So let's get into it. Last night, news broke. I'm watching the Blackhawks game and some college hoops, and I look, oh, Justin Fields is unfollowing the Bears now on Instagram. Why that's a big deal, I don't know. Because guess what? C.J. Stroud, Rookie of the Year, star quarterback of the Houston Texans, he doesn't follow the Houston Texans. I don't think he's going anywhere. But people want to read into this, have at it. In addition, Fields' dog, Uno, unfollowed the Bears on his Instagram account. Why do you have a separate account for your dog? Like, if you got a famous dog like Spuds McKenzie, remember the, the dog for the beer? Okay, he's a famous dog. You want to have an account, have at A normal family pet? That's just dumb. Dumb, dumb, dumb. Anyway, uh, he's also unfollowing the Bears. Read into it what you will. A very good source of mine who works in the NFL that I went to school with and I've known for over 30 years told me today that... All the teams are doing background work on Caleb Williams, even if they can't get him, because you want a baseline as you go through their career. And he said, Cap, all his background work has come back A+. Plus. A+. Plus. Tremendous leader and a great teammate. That leads me to Albert Breer of Monday Morning Quarterback. He joins the Cap and Jay Hood Show every week on ESPN 1000. Well, he's reporting that the Bears expect to have their quarterback plan in place by the time they arrive in Indianapolis for the NFL Scouting Combine next week. Finally, the same source that I just spoke to regarding Williams also told me there's a definite possibility, listen to this, that there will not be a large number of suitors for Justin Fields to come in as a clear-cut starter on another team. That leads us to our Oasis restoration question of the day. They'll clean up the mess so you don't have to. Put them in your phone. You never know when you're going to need them. OasisRestorationCO.com. Would you be surprised if Justin Fields either had to compete for a starting job in another town or was a backup when the 2024 season begins next September? Tell me where and why you think he has a chance to be a starter somewhere else. You might be surprised. Two best responses. Two, we'll get you, uh, here on YouTube, we'll get gift cards to Lou Malnati's. Go to tastesofchicago.com or loumalnati's.com. White Sox owner Jerry Reinsdorf is meeting with Illinois legislative leaders today in Springfield as he seeks state funding for a new baseball stadium in the South Loop. And the College Football Playoff Board of Managers unanimously approved a model that will guarantee the five highest-ranked conference champions inclusion in an expanded 12-team field along with the next seven highest-ranked teams. And finally, our four seasons heating, air conditioning, plumbing, and electric stat of the day. Listen to this one. As the American sports betting industry continues to expand almost daily, it has reached a high watermark, posting a record $10.92 billion, with a B, in revenue for 2023. The huge year for the industry represents a 44.5% year-over-year increase from 2022, with a record handle of bets of $119.84 billion. Wow! Have a great night. Appreciate you greatly. Justin's on the move. Looks like that. Take that.